A violent week in Durham prompts community activists to step up. Yeah, they came together today on the 51st anniversary of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s assassination to call for an end to gun violence. CBS 17's Derek Lewis has their message tonight. We're here saying, stop killing us. Enough is enough. Last year, according to Durham Police, there were 32 homicides across the city. So far in 2019, there have been 14 cases. If the average number of homicides per month continues this year, the city will see 42 homicides, the same as 2016. Today, Reverend Curtis Gatewood held a news conference addressing gun violence, one day after a man was shot multiple times in front of the Durham County Courthouse. Police tell me an argument led to the shooting. Men seem to falsely believe that that makes them a man. So you get in the argument, you got your gun. Or you go to the car, you get your gun. Activists tell me it's time for a change. And while legislative bills on gun control could help, they believe there's work to be done now. Had there been one person, maybe, who saw that situation escalating and stopped in to try to de-escalate, if we had law enforcement officers who were trained in de-escalation tactics, Maybe some of these situations wouldn't happen the way they did. Don Blagrove tells me everyone has a responsibility to look after each other. But what's more important is that we re-embrace the concept of being our brothers and our sisters keeper. Honoring the death of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Gaywood tells me King's message is still alive 51 years later. You can be great. Dr. King said it best. You can be great because you can serve. Gaywood tells me his message is not targeting a group of individuals. Instead, it's a message for everyone to do their part. In Durham, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS 17 News.